Hey everyone, welcome back to Chippy Gaming. So we've got some very exciting Terraria news today. Now, a couple of days ago, I made a video talking about the Dead Cells Terraria collaboration. And in that video, we took a look at some Dead Cells gameplay that showed a brand new guide outfit and also the Star Fury in Dead Cells. And in that video, I spoke about a potential new Terraria update, saying that this would be a wonderful foundation if they ever were to work on another update. Well, we got the announcement earlier today, a brand new Terraria update is heading our way in 2023, and it's called 1.4. Point five. Real quick, with every Terraria update comes new spoilers, and if you want to stay up to date with all things Terraria, now is a great time to make sure you've hit that subscribe button. So we actually got the announcement via a blog post, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read that so you know absolutely everything about what to expect. So this is exactly what Relogic had to say. Greetings Terrarians! We are very happy to share that Terraria has made its way into the insanely good Metroidvania hack and slash roguelite Dead Cells. As always, we are thrilled to collaborate with our fellow top-notch indie developers out there. If you want the full scoop behind the new Terraria content in Dead Cells, check out the details of their update that landed today. So this next part is actually from Motion Twin talking about their side of the crossover. They wrote, I'm not sure if we can really call Terraria an indie anymore, but they definitely started as one. In any case, we're introducing the guide and the heavenly sword Star Fury. Striking enemies with this glorious pink sword causes fragments of stars to fall from the sky, dealing critical hits to other enemies around you. The drawback is that it's a relatively slow and static weapon, but chuck a few dodge rolls in there and you'll be fine. So continuing what Relogic wrote in that blog post, they said, wait a second, we hear you saying, shouldn't a crossover have content on both sides? Why indeed it should. That's why we are revealing today that Terraria 1.4.5, at least part of which, will include Terraria X Dead Cells content. Will be coming your way in 2023. Work on this update will begin in earnest when the team starts work in the new year and after all of the needed hotfixes for 1.4.4 are completed. What all will Terraria 1.4.5 contain? Well, you will have to wait and see when the time comes. We hope this will help get everyone hyped for the end of the year and what is to come in 2023, which will hopefully be the year of crossplay Cross your fingers. Stay tuned for more information in the weeks and months ahead. Now, it's going to be very interesting to find out how big 1.4.5 is actually going to be. Because as we saw with 1.4.4, well, it turned out a lot larger than any of us were expecting. Truthfully, to my core, I kind of thought they would shift it to 1.5. And I do wonder with 1.4.5 if that transition will also happen. Awesome Terraria Facts did actually tweet Senex and say, Do you see it possible for any new biome alternatives to be in the final, final, last, final end update? And Senex responded, 1.4.5 should be a rather small update. Biome alts would be for a much larger update like 1.5 which sounded fun, but making a new game sounds a little bit better right now. So about two months ago, we did make a video reacting to Red's initial, very raw, very basic concept art of what could potentially be a Terraria 2. And I wonder if this update is meant to form some sort of a bridge between what Relogic actually want to do. Because after reading that tweet, it seems like to me a 1.5 was in discussion at some point, whether that be during the development of 1.4.4 or even before 1.4.5. So I think for now, the plan with the update is to round off some of the smaller ideas that they've likely had throughout development, but then save some of the bigger concepts for a potential sequel to the game or just something else entirely. Now, we do know that development of this update has actually yet to begin. It begins in the new year. So it'll be interesting to see how that initial scope might change because we have seen updates in the past that have started small and ended small. 
but as we've seen recently, sometimes they get a little bit carried away. And I think development of 1.4.5 is going to be very interesting to watch because as we've seen throughout 2022, to me, Relogic are now firing on all cylinders. And when you pair that with the new synergy they have with DR Studios, I think personally, they're producing some of their best work. Now, I do have a question for you lot at home. Terraria 1.4.4 has been out for over a month now and aimed to fix everything that was kind of wrong with Terraria. And I wanna know, after playing it, is there anything that you dislike about the game still? Because I've been thinking about it a lot. For me personally, I feel like I like it all now. Like they've fixed everything. But now's a great time to ask that question because as always, if this is the new final update, it's probably best to get your requests in now. So I just want to round off the video by saying Realogic, thank you once again for yet another free Terraria update. After nearly 12 years, you have given this community like nothing but love, memes and enthusiasm. And if this is truly the final, final update, you know, I could chuck a couple more finals in there. You have done more than enough, truly. And if it is time, it's time. But if it isn't, just keep going because clearly you're very good at making this game. And hey, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.